Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great and staying safe in this Corona times. First of all, all the best to the candidates who are going to appear for the their IELTS exam pretty soon. Okay, moving towards the video. Today's video is going to be about writing section, specifically task one. So, I'll be talking about letters. This video is purely for the general candidates. Before I move to the letters, all I want to say is, if any candidate is facing any kind of problem in the IELTS exam, any of the module like writing, speaking, listening, reading, please feel free to write me down in the comment section or you can email me at ielswithadun at the rate gmail.com and I promise I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Second thing, if anyone wants a copy of the letter structure, please feel free to write down to me. I'll send you a soft copy. Okay, now let's move towards the video. Letters. When we talk about letters, we should understand there are different kind of letters. Letters that we write to people whom we don't know for maybe job or to write down a complaint or to make an inquiry about a product or letters that we write down to our friends or our family. So there is a difference between both the way you write the structure, the way the kind of language you use, it's different. So there are basically three kinds of letter. The first letter is a formal letter. Now, how do you know it's a formal letter? So a formal letter is a letter in which you are writing to a person who is completely unknown to you. You don't know the person. You might be writing to someone who holds a designation, for example, a principal, a security advisor, a security counselor, the editor of a newspaper and many more. So in a formal letter, the person is completely unknown to you. Second kind of letter is an informal letter. Now, what is the difference between a formal letter and an informal letter? An informal letter is basically you're writing to a person whom you know quite well. It can be a friend or it can be a family member or it can be a relative. So you can write accordingly. There will be a ease of in the language. Now, between the formal letter and informal letter, there stands one more category of a letter that is basically your semi-formal letter. Now, what is a semi-formal letter? Semi-formal letter is a letter in which you may or may not know the person, but you surely know his name. For example, say like you, you know that you're writing a letter to someone by the name Mr. Adam Browns. So, you know the last name quite well. So, when you write the letter, we'll be using this. Now, how to open each kind of letter? First letter we're talking about is a formal letter. So now when we're writing a formal letter to someone, we will use respecter, sir, madam, because we don't know the person. As I already mentioned, please make sure you do not write ma'am. It's a complete word that you need to write madam. As I've already mentioned, it's a formal letter, letter and language is at most important when we are talking about IELTS exam. So you write respect your sir madam and uh, it's, oh, it's totally fine even if you write dear sir madam in the case of formal letter. Now coming down to the second category. Second category as I mentioned is your semi-formal letter as it stands between your formal and an informal letter. So in a semi-formal letter you know the last name of the person so you can write dear Mr. Browns, dear Mr. Sanders, you know the last person last name of the person so you can use that in your letter while addressing the person now the third category is your informal letter so when you're writing informal letter obviously you know the person quite well it's as i mentioned it can be a friend it can be a distant relative or it can be a family member so in that case you can straight away write dear rahul dear augustus dear angelina so you can use your first name is totally fine that is how you open a letter by adding the salutation now moving towards the next part that is the body part how you are starting with your letter what you're going to write it so we basically divide it we call it as a body of the letter because this is the place where you're going to put all the content of your letter so i have divided into three parts that is the standard practice you can do the same introduction the main body and last conclusion it's not actually this three thing, but this is how we divide a letter. So an introduction is the part where you are going to actually start writing your letter and there's a way you start up a letter. So when is the case of a formal letter? As I already mentioned, it might be you're inquiring about something or you're complaining about something. So you can straight away write, I am writing this letter to inform you. I'm writing this letter to complain about 
I'm writing this letter regarding. So this is how you open a formal letter. Now, even if you're having a semi-formal letter, the way to open the letter is same as in the case of a formal letter. I'm this like I'm writing this letter to inform you about. I'm writing this letter to complain. I'm writing this letter to inquire. So it's the same in case of formal and in semi-formal letter. There is no difference. Because somewhere down the line, a semi-formal letter is a sort of formal letter only. You are just aware of the last name of the person. Now coming down to our third category, that is our informal letter. So when writing about informal letter, we know the person quite well so we can start in a casual manner. For example, uh, I hope you and family are doing great. It was um, really enjoyable when you uh, when I met you in the last vacation. So you can stand, uh, start to write a letter writing this kind of information, inquiring about the other person first, his whereabouts, then you can write um, your thing which you're writing about. Now, this is the first part, introduction, right? Now, second comes the main body, the main reason why you are writing this letter. So you are going to put up your reason in this particular part. Yes, this is the reason I'm this, writing this letter for. So uh, is it, now, whether it's a formal, it's semi-formal or informal, you cannot change the reason because the reason is the reason. You have got the reason and that is why you're writing. So you'll just put it up over there. I'm writing this uh, as I started. Now comes to the body. The main reason for writing this letter is that I wanted to inform you that I'm getting married and uh, I wanted to share this news with you and I'll be really, really happy to let you know about the things. So this is how you put your content. Now, the content is going to change depends on what kind of letter you have received. Like, for example, there is a very famous letter in a formal category that you went to a hotel and you forgot your stuff over there. Now write a letter to the hotel manager inquiring about your whereabouts. So that is one category of letter. Now that's a formal letter and that's an inquiry letter. You understand that, right? So you are writing to the hotel manager. Now we don't know the who is the hotel manager because he's not known to us. So it's basically a formal letter. You can even right away start respected or uh, sir, madam, because um, if you know who you met the person, then you can write ma'am or sir accordingly. Madam or sir accordingly, but if you have not met the person yet, then please use respect your sir or with madam. And then in the main reason, you can write that uh, my name is this. I stayed in your hotel room, uh, room number this on dates, this and this. And I would like to inform you that uh, I think I forgot some of my stuff in the closet. This is the main body where you write the main body, the main reason why you have written this letter. Or for example, in case of uh, like, as I mentioned in an informal letter, you're writing to a friend in the main body, you can just write up, uh, I'll be, uh, I'm getting married on this date and I will be really, really happy if you could come few day, few days before or you can come on this date so that I would like to go to shopping with you and you can help me out with some of the course way back at home. So this is the main body where you are writing the reason why you have been asked to write a letter. So this goes the main body. Now the third part, which you divide the letter, the last part, that is a conclusion. Now, what do you want in return from the other person? If you have written a letter, it's just not for the sake of mere informing the other person, you want something in return. Now, what is that? You will write it over here that you want the other person to send your stuff via courier. You are informing the person that if you found his stuff in the closet, please keep it safe. You will go personally and receive it. Or if he's sending the courier, you are ready to pay the shipping charges. Or in the third case, where it's informal, you can say that, uh, please let me know when you will be coming along with your family so that I can make the hotel reservations accordingly. I can come to the airport to pick you up. Please send me the details of your flight. So this is basically the conclusion part where you write. This is how you divide your letter. First introduction, uh, starting was with salutation, that is clear. Then the main body, which is of three parts, introduction, what you are basically, what you basically want from that person. Um, you're informing of the letter, you're opening the letter. Then comes the body part. In the body part, you're writing the content. What is basically the reason for writing this letter to them? And the last part is the conclusion. What you are expecting in return, that some kind of information you are seeking or you basically want or them to act on something. So that is how a letter goes on. Now last come when comes to the closing of the letter. Now the closing of the letter is again of three kinds, whether it's a formal letter, whether it's a semi-formal letter, or whether it's an informal letter. Now, if it's a formal letter and you don't know the person completely, he's a total stranger, then please make sure you write yours faithfully. If it's a semi-formal letter, you can use yours sincerely because you know the last name of the person. Uh, that's a, that's the difference how you understand where's the formal or semi-formal 
and the last thing if it's an informal letter you can clearly write with best or uh, warm regards best wishes and you can write down your name so that is how you end a letter where it's a formal semi-formal informal this is all about letter which you need to basically understand but the most important thing is that you should be able to complete your letter in 20 minutes 20 minutes is the key thing if you're not able to complete your letter in 20 minutes then you are going to be penalized for your bans second most important thing is it's just not about completing your task in time the point is to save time for revision if you're not able to revise your task two times then you cannot be so sure that whatever stuff you have written is completely correct there might be spelling errors there might be overwriting there might be something that you want to take care of the repetitions um so please make sure that you revise if you revise twice you will be able to find such kind of errors which you can eliminate now, this was all about letters. I have mentioned the structure, how it goes. In my next video, I'll be talking about how to basically make the content. So when you start writing a letter, there's so many things, when you're brainstorming the ideas, there's so many things coming into your mind, what to do, what not to do, this is the point, this is the point, and you cannot abruptly start writing. There is a way that you should plan your task and then execute it in order to um, complete your task in time and in a perfect manner so that everything goes fine. In my next video, I'll be talking about how to make content in a proper manner so that you're able to execute in a fantastic manner and secure great bands for yourself. So this is all about the letter. If anyone is having any kind of problem, please feel free to write me down in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to assist you people. And if someone is looking for a free evaluation, please get in touch with me uh, via my email. That is ileswitharun at the rate gmail.com. And uh, there's one more video coming up. I'll be posting about the letters that are important. I have compiled a video. It's coming off. It consists of letter that have appeared in the past two years and few of the letters do get repeated. So please check that video that is important throughout the year that will be having around say like uh, 20 to 25 letters and that is very important. You can check that video and those who have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel. There will be more interesting stuff coming up on my channel. And that's all for the day. Thank you so much.